Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Funda family. In this video, I'll explain you subtractor using operational amplifier. And this same circuit can be used as a difference amplifier. Let me explain you how. If you observe this circuit, then in this circuit, we have two inputs VA and VB. This VA that is given to positive terminal. Positive means non-inverting terminal. And this VB that is given to negative terminal. Negative means inverting terminal. And we have negative feedback over here. If this circuit is working as a subtractor, then what is your output? Your output will be VA minus VB. Why it is VA minus VB? The reason is VA is given to positive terminal and VB is given to negative terminal. If you want to work this circuit as a subtractor. As I have told you, same circuit can be used as a difference amplifier. If we want to use this circuit as a difference amplifier, then output will be difference into amplification factor A. If your circuit is functioning as a subtractor, then this gain should be equals to 1. Now I am going to derive output equation over here. To derive output equation, first of all I will be considering output due to input VA. Now here we wanted to have output due to input VA. Let us say that output is VOA. So here we need to ground this VB as VB is 0. So here I am providing VB is equals to ground. Right. Now what is my output VOA? So my output VOA that is happening based on non-inverting configuration. If I say at this node, let us say voltage is V dash, then VOA will be V dash into gain due to non-inverting mode. See with negative feedback, with non-inverting mode, what is my gain? Gain is 1 plus RF by R1, where RF is feedback resistance and R1 is this resistance. So VOA in non-inverting mode, that is V dash into 1 plus RF by R1. Now what is V dash? See V dash that can be calculated as per voltage divider rule. V dash will be how much? V dash will be VA into this resistance that is R3 divided by addition of these two resistance that is R2 plus R3 and into this gain that is my VOA, right? So you see my output due to input VA that is VA into R3 divided by R2 plus R3 into 1 plus RF by R1, right? Now we need to have output due to input VB. So let me redraw the circuit again. So let us say output due to input VB that is VOB. So here we need to ground this VA as it is 0. So I am connecting this terminal with ground. Now here you see R2 and R3 both are connected with ground, right? So you can say positive terminal that is connected with ground. So here VOB that is happening as per inverting mode. So what is the output due to inverting mode? That is VOB that has to be input VB into gain. Gain in inverting mode with negative feedback is how much? Minus RF by R1, right? So here VOB that is minus of VB into RF by R1. So now we have output due to input A and input B, right? You see we have calculated both. So what is my total output? Total output that is algebraic sum of output due to VA and VB. Let me write that. VO is equals to VOA plus VOB. Here if you observe VOA that is this. So that is VA into R3 divided by R2 plus R3 into 1 plus RF by R1. And VOB that is minus VB into RF by R1. 
let us simplify this see here we are just taking lcm of r1 so this equation will be r3 divided by r2 plus r3 and here we will be having r1 plus rf divided by r1 minus vb into rf divided by r1 now with this see we wanted to have simplified equation of this and that has to be there in form of va minus vb into gain now here if you observe this vb term that is having rf by r1 and we wanted to have va term in terms of rf by r1 right so what we can do is we can assume few basics you see we want to cancel this r1 plus rf with this so if you assume rf is equals to r3 and if you assume r1 is equals to r2 then you can cancel out these two terms right and you can substitute r3 is equals to rf so your simplified equation that will be vo is equals to va into r3 is rf now divided by r1 minus vb into rf by r1 so you can say your output will be rf by r1 into va minus vb right that is my output over here now see earlier i have told you this same circuit that is working as a subtractor if rf is equals to r1 and that is working as a difference amplifier where gain is rf divided by r1 right so you see i have told you earlier this circuit that can be functioning as a subtractor if a is equals to 1 and same circuit that one can use as a difference amplifier where this gain a that is rf by r1 that is rf by r1 right that is how this circuit is working i hope you have understood all those things still if anything that you would like to share please note it down in comment section i'll be happy to help you thank you so much for watching this video